Hi, this is Joe Muccio, audio post mixer and founder of AudioProNetwork.com, here to show you all the reasons why I choose Pentio 16 Pro when I'm mixing in Dolby Atmos. Using Pentio 16 Pro for upmixing 7.1.4 Atmos is easy. Pro Tools only has 7.1.2 beds, so you have just a little bit of setup to do, but it's worth it. Let's go into your I.O. settings and create a third order ambisonics path with subpaths for 7.1 and two more stereo subpaths. Then create the same corresponding aux tracks. Set the output on your Pentio third order aux track, then route the third order Pentio upmix track to the 7.1 aux input and bus to the appropriate Atmos bed. Then set your inputs for the two stereo buses and route them to your height objects. Finally, go into the Pentio plugin and select 7.1.4. There, you're all set, up mixing a stereo track to 7.1.4 Atmos. Amazing. And now the best part. We can listen to our up mix in binaural. Let's activate binaural listening in the preferences and then turn it on. You'll see the other tracks become muted and take notice of the binaural indicators above channels one and two. Up mixing and monitoring in binaural with one plugin. Wow. While we're here, let me show you the visualizer. This feature is really helpful and looks amazing too. Visualize your mix in 3D and 2D. And just a reminder, you're not just limited to up mixing from a stereo track. I can up mix any Pentio supported format from stereo up to 16 channels. For example, Here's an upmix from 5.1 to Atmos 7.1.4. And I can downmix any Atmos format to any other format from the same plugin. So let's talk about all these controls, starting with the center mode options. Default relates back to an older version of Pentio's music setting, while Composite links the center energy with the left side surround and right side surround. And finally, discrete is your synthesized hard center, which is usually my preference. The next two faders let you control the level of your side surrounds and rear surrounds. Remember, when adjusting these faders, you're never losing energy, you're simply redistributing energy while always maintaining full down mix compatibility. When the boost button is engaged, some energy is redirected from the rear surrounds to the side surrounds. So think of the boost setting as borrowing some energy from the rear surrounds, sort of a forced redistribution. It's not taking all the energy away, it's just sharing a bit to help glue the side surrounds to the front speakers a bit more. The upper channel fader is for the various immersive settings in Pentio, and works as the other faders do, redistributing energy so that you can maintain that Pentio perfect downmix compatibility. There are some more specific presets on this fader as well. If you happen to be up mixing a dialogue driven mix, engaging the Dropbox button lets you minimize dialogue in the high channels. Tilt allows you to swap your top front and top rear speakers with one click. And the shelf setting enables a low pass for your upper channels. Again, engaging this setting redistributes sound energy via the amazing Pentio algorithm, giving you a perfect down mix. If you like your settings, save them and recall them later. So there you go. Pentio, the industry standard in up mixing and down mixing, and my choice when working in immersive audio. That's it for now. See you on the next video.